Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. For today's video, we'll look at various Filipino kinship terms. Take note that only six Filipino languages are included here. We will do more in the next videos to come. For any corrections to the terms used in this video, we would appreciate a feedback. Thank you. Today's episode is pretty straightforward. We take a look at the various kinship terminologies in different selected Filipino languages. Some people think that Filipino kinship terms are simplistic and generalist in nature. Perhaps the reason why some experts claim that our system of kinship is simplistic is because we tend to to generally call anyone we can't figure out how far related we are as cousin. And if they are older, then we switch to the generic term uncle or aunt. And those older than uncles and aunts are simply called grandfather or grandmother. In the next few slides, we will look at the different terms related to Filipino kinship. In this example, we show the basic lineal relationships. The general rule is that you add great for every generation above your grandparents. The higher you go up, the more greats there should be. Here we show the terms for ancestor, grandparent, parent, father, and mother. In Tagalog, Cebuano, Ilongo, Waray-Waray, Ilocano, and Kapampangan. Take note that the sources for these terms are from Spanish period dictionaries and early 1920s articles. If you have any corrections, please let us know. So, in Tagalog, Ancestor is Ninuno, while it is Kagikan in Cebuano. It is Kaliwatan in Ilongo, Ninuno in Waraiwaray, Dadakel in Ilocano, and Pipumpunan in Kapampangan. Grandparent is Nuno in Tagalog, Apuhan in Cebuano, Ulang in Ilongo, Apoy in Waraiwaray, Apong in Ilocano, and Nunung in Kapampangan. Parents are Magulang in Tagalog, Ginikanan in Cebuano, Ilongo, and Waraiwaray, Naganak in Ilocano, and Pengari in Kapampangan. Father is Ama in Tagalog, Amahan in Cebuano, Amay in Ilongo and Waraiwaray, Ama in Ilocano, and Igpa in Kapampangan. Mother is Ina in both Tagalog and Ilocano, Inahan in Cebuano, Iloy in Ilongo, Iroy in Waraiwaray, and Inda in Kapampangan. This shows an example of collateral relatives. Siblings are your brother or sister, and the siblings of your parents are your aunt or uncle. 
The siblings of your grandparents are your grand aunt or grand uncle, and you start using great with the siblings of your great grandparents and call them your great grand aunt or great grand uncle. In Filipino kinship, anyone in our parents' generation are simply our aunts and uncles, and beyond that, they are simply our grandparents. So, aunt in Tagalog is inain, iaan in Cebuano, dada in both Ilongo and Warayware, ikip in Ilocano, and dara in Kapampangan. Uncle is amain in Tagalog, uyuan in Cebuano, bata in both Ilongo and Warayware, Oliteg in Ilocano and Bapa in Kapampangan. Sibling is Kapatid in Tagalog, Igsoon in Cebuano, Utod in Ilongo, Bugto in Warayware, Kabsat in Ilocano, and Kapatan in Kapampangan. Sister is Babaeng Kapatid in Tagalog, Igsuon nga babay in Cebuano, utod nga babay in Ilongo, mana in Warayware, kabsat a babae in Ilocano, and kaputol in Kapampangan. While brother is lalaking kapatid in Tagalog, igsuon nga lalaki in Cebuano, utod nga lalaki in Ilongo, mano in Warayware, kabsat a lalaki in Ilocano and Aputol in Kapampangan. Well, here we see the various levels of cousinship. In Western cousin terms, there is the concept of removed for every generation away from the main person. In Filipino kinship, Anyone in our generation is usually called our cousin. And while there are those who can identify how distantly related cousins there are, generally everyone is simply a cousin without distinction of distance. Here is an example showing the nibblings, or the nephews and the nieces. In Tagalog, a nibbling, the generic term for a nephew or a niece, is pamangkin. It is pagumangkon in Cebuano, hinablos in Ilongo, kaugmangkonan in Warayware, kaanakan, in Ilocano and Pangunakan in Kapampangan. Nephew is pamangkin na lalaki and niece is pamangkin na babae in Tagalog. Pagumangkon nga lalaki and pagumangkon nga babae for Cebuano, hinablus na lalaki and hinablus na babae for Ilongo, umangkon na lalaki and umangkon na babae for Warayware, Kaanakan a lalaki and kaanakan a babae in Ilocano and pangunakan na lalaki and pangunakan na babae in Kapampangan. While cousin is pinsan in both Tagalog and Ilongo, igagaw in Cebuano, patud in Warayware, kasinsin in Ilocano, and pisan in Kapampangan. Finally, there are also terms for in-laws or non-blood relationships as shown in this example.
The term for husband in Tagalog is asawa, as well as in Ilonggo, Warayware, Ilocano, and Kapampangan. While Cebuano remains unique as the term for husband is bana. While the term for wife is the same for all the six languages that we present here, which is asawa. For parent-in-law, it is bienan in Tagalog, ugangan in Cebuano, Ilonggo, and Warayware, katugangan in Ilocano, and katuangan in Kapampangan. For brother or sister-in-law, it is bayaw for, may, for brother-in-law in Tagalog and hipag for sister-in-law. While the term bayaw is generic for both brother and sister-in-law in Cebuano. Bayaw and hipag are for Ilonggo. While again in Warayware, the term is bayaw for both brother and sister-in-law. In Ilocano, the brother-in-law is kayong. While it is ipag for the sister-in-law. While Kapampangan has a generic term for both with the term bayo. For the son or daughter-in-law, the term is manugang in Tagalog, umagad in both Cebuano and Warayware, manugang for Ilonggo as well and Ilocano, and manuyang for Kapampangan. That's it for today's video. We hope you learned something new and enjoyed this episode. We would appreciate a subscription to this site in order for us to continue making more videos on Filipino genealogy. Thank you for watching and stay safe always. Goodbye.